What's up guys? So up until really recently, Google Voice did not offer a HIPAA secure option, which meant that for us therapists in private practice, we needed to go with an alternative option for our phone line in order to connect with clients. But very recently, Google changed its terms and Google Voice can now be added under the G Suite HIPAA secure console. There are some steps to take though to make sure that your Google Voice is HIPAA secure, and I'm gonna walk you through those steps in this video. And for our phone service to, 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 to order. Hmm. <sighs> Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. So if you're totally new to the concept of HIPAA compliance and you don't know what a BAA is, I go over both of those in more depth in my earlier video about how to make G Suite HIPAA secure. So I encourage you to check out that video first and also to make sure that your G Suite is HIPAA secure before diving in to this step because if you haven't done that step, then this step doesn't work. You can find that video linked up here as well as in the description box. Now, if you're not already familiar with Google Voice, it offers you a phone number that's not tied to any device. So that means you could answer the same phone number from your computer or any device. Now the free version of Google Voice has been around for many years, but it has not been HIPAA secure. So just like anyone can sign up for a free version of Gmail, you can also sign up for a free version of Google Voice. And those are both still true to this day, but both of those options are not HIPAA secure. But great news, as of July 2018, Google officially released a paid version of Google Voice that's covered under its G Suite of services. So that means if you already subscribe to G Suite and you've signed the BAA and you add the paid version of Google Voice onto your suite of services there, then it falls under the BAA agreement and therefore is HIPAA secure. I can't emphasize enough that this is only the case if you've already signed a BAA agreement with G Suite. So again, check out my earlier video about that and do that first because if you do everything else in this video and you haven't done that, then your Google Voice is absolutely not HIPAA secure. Now, if you already have G Suite and you've already signed that BAA agreement, then here's how you can add Google Voice to your suite of services so that it's HIPAA secure. Head to cloud.google.com slash voice and click get started. There you'll find three paid options to choose from. All of these comply with HIPAA requirements. I found the cheapest option works great for me. Click select for the option that works best for the needs of your practice. And once logged in, click get started. Accept the terms and click continue. Review your payment options update as needed and click continue. Now you're in, but there's still a bit of setup to go. Click continue. In the Google Voice Starter tab, click the Actions menu and select Manage Licenses. Select the box to auto-assign Google Voice to all unassigned users. This links your Google Voice purchase directly to you. If you have several employees in your practice, you can upload a file with their email addresses. Then click Save. Next, head to your Google console by going to admin.google.com and select Apps. Then select G Suite Core Services. Find Google Voice in the list of apps and click on it. Select Service Management, then click Locations on the left column of Options. Click Add Location, complete the form, and click Save. Now your location shows up on the list. Next, click on Users in the left column and click on the Edit button to the right of your profile and fill out the form. Google will randomly generate a number for you, which you can stick with, but I suggest you at least select a number with your local area code. You can also choose your own number. Once you've selected the number you want, click Assign. Now you see the number you chose assigned to your user profile. Once you've made it through all of these steps, you can make and receive phone calls through your computer, but you might also find it helpful to download the Google Voice app directly onto your device or smartphone and make and receive calls there. If you've followed along with me and gone through all of these steps too, then give yourself a little pat on the back. Your Google Voice is now HIPAA secure. Please keep in mind that even though a software or service is HIPAA secure, it's still absolutely possible to use it in ways that are not HIPAA compliant. 
So it's important that we know how to utilize each of these products in such a way that we are still HIPAA compliant. You might find it helpful to review Google's guide called G Suite and Cloud Identity HIPAA Implementation Guide. They have an entire section dedicated to using Google Voice in a HIPAA compliant manner. And once you have it all set up, it's smooth sailing from there. Throw yourself a little party, welcome yourself into the 21st century for figuring out how to use technology, put your new phone number out on your advertising materials, and I hope the calls start rolling in with all those potential clients, though most of them tend to email these days, don't they? but then you can have your initial phone screen through your HIPAA secure Google Voice number. Well, I hope you found this video helpful to get set up with Google Voice. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. Today's video is brought to you by therapynotes.com. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, and billing so that you can spend more time with your clients and less time on back office paperwork. Click the link in the description of this video to get two months to try it for free with no commitment.